Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Velasir and Telford for a British title doubleheader. Ijaz Ahmed joins me. How are you, mate? I'm all right. Thank you very much. Good, good. Um, I was just saying to you off camera there, a trilogy is quite rare, but a trilogy at British level, I mean, I suppose that's why there's so much of a buzz around this fight. Can you feel a little bit of an extra buzz just because it's the third time you're running it back? Uh, not really, to be honest. I just um, I just think of it as another fight and I'm just going to get in there and, and, and get the win. In terms of you saying thinking of it as another fight, I take it that means you kind of haven't even thought about reflecting too much on the previous two fights? Uh, no, I mean, uh, you see, every, uh, you know, fighters change the styles and they change the uh, um, uh, way they uh, come into the ring and uh, and it's just a, a, a different, whole different fight. I mean, yeah, in the end, uh, when you, you're tired and everything, it, you go back to what you know. Uh, so um, there will be uh, glimpses of the of the previous fights in in, in this one, but um, I just gotta take it as a, a whole new fight, and I've just gotta uh, get the victory. I do just want to quickly brush over the previous one that went down as a draw. Do you feel kind of any bitterness towards that fight? Because I know you believe you won the fight, and your team believe you won the fight. Um, although you're yet to lose in the trilogy, do you feel a little bit of bitterness? Because if you feel like you should have won the fight, and obviously it went down as a draw, is there like a bit of bitterness about? Yeah, I mean. Uh, yeah. Having to uh, go through all of this all over again with the same yeah, person. We wouldn't be here. You'd, yeah. You, yeah. I would have been fighting other people. I would have, my, my my career would have would would have obviously it took a a different direction, and um, I would have been full steam ahead, uh, trying to uh, go for uh, other titles or, or or defend the title. I mean, um, I personally believe I, I defeated him. Um, and, and if you watch that fight, anybody that is a is a uh, a, a good analyst of boxing would know that I, I defeated him, and he knows deep down inside he knows he, he lost. Uh, he's just got he's got other people telling him otherwise. Um, but yeah, I should have been uh, the the British champion, and because of because uh, of him being uh, injured, I had to wait another a year or so uh, just to get this fight again. Uh, so in that time, I could have defended it uh, a good few times and uh, could be uh, on my way to winning it outright. So uh, it is very frustrating and uh, upsetting that uh, this fight uh, and Casey and his team has, has kind of uh, put me on hold, uh, put my career on hold. Uh, I'm not getting any younger. Uh, I, I'm getting uh, older and uh, um, I just want to... Uh, Put this behind me and 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 move forward in my career. I spoke to Casey just now, and he says he feels like he's taken the best version of you. I know you said you bust up his face after the previous fight. Um, obviously, you threw a lot at Casey. He didn't go, of course. But do you feel like you threw the best uh, at Casey? Do you feel like I don't know that was eighty percent of you, and there there is more to come yeah, in this yeah, third fight? Definitely, definitely more to come. I mean, um, at one point in that fight, um, I had him, I had him uh, uh, rocked. And it just I, I didn't realize until uh, afterwards uh, he was gone as much as he was. And um, when I did pounce on him, it was a bit too late in the round, and and the bow went, and he got he got saved by the bow basically. Um, but I mean, if he's saying that, I, I've I've seen the best of, of Casey Kadimi because I mean the first time round all he was doing is just uh, running, and then the second time round. Um, he tried to come at me. Uh, I, I, obviously, he knew he couldn't do what he did the first time round, uh, and he only lasted 30 seconds of the round. And, and after that, it was me on top of him again, uh, um, calling the shots and, and making the fight happen. So um, I just gotta wait and see what he brings to the table this time round. I mean, uh, as not, as much as he probably thinking uh, he's improved, so have I. So it's gonna be, uh, just gonna have to wait and see on the night. I want to talk quickly about the press conference. Um, bits of back and forth and some of kind of your friends and fans and what getting involved. Um, do you take much from what goes on up there? Uh, obviously, it's not, it's not really going to be brought into the ring, but I suppose maybe it adds a little bit of emotion, or does it add emotion uh, at all? I, I'm not afraid about none of that, uh, to be honest. I mean, uh, he's, t he's saying that he's going to humble me, and I mean, I'm thinking, how can you humble somebody that's already humble? Uh, I don't have no uh, animosity, or I had no ill feeling about him or against his people yeah it's just it's just a, a job and uh, he same thing he he knows he has to come in and, and get the job done so do I 
and uh, I, I, I'm just clearly stating the, the facts and the obvious uh, um, that uh, I bust him up, which you could clearly tell when you see the post-match in, post interview, uh, his face is all mashed up. Um, maybe a, 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 an accidental headbutt did go in there. I'm not. I'm not gonna deny it. Uh, it probably. It probably did. But uh, uh, that's something I didn't obviously um, do on purpose. Um, when you, when you're in there, then you're you're, you're throwing the the punches and uh, you're trying to win. Sometimes that does happen. But. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, I, I'm just super excited to get this fight, and uh, I'm, I'm really happy that it's actually going through this time. Uh, I've waited a long time. I'm just gonna uh, enjoy the night, enjoy the uh, the whole experience, and and get that win and get that title under me. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really exciting fight. I can't wait to see how it plays out. Just one final thing for me. I know it's sort of um, tunnel vision for Saturday, and you're focused on getting that belt, but. When you hear the word Prince Patel mentioned, obviously an eliminator for the Commonwealth, it is a bit exciting because he's such a Marmite character in British boxing. People love him, people hate him. And as time goes on, if the winner of this is to fight Prince Patel, that just is an interesting fight. Yeah, I mean, uh, it will make sense. Uh, I mean, I, I, I put all my, my, my titles on the line and so will he and, uh, and made the best man win. Um, and I, I'm fully confident um, I, could, I could defeat him. Uh, so... But uh, look, I'm, I'm, I don't want to um, look too far forward uh, ahead of what is in front of me right now. So I just got to uh, make sure I get the victory on Saturday and then have a nice break. And then we'll, we'll sit down and have a look at what options are. Welcome Team Everlast to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.